Cash out your chips, guys. Cash out your chips. Here we go. Ubisoft executives get evasive. After investors question potential low sales from Star Wars, Outlaws, and Assassin's Creed Shadows, the two games that everybody has been dunking on, the two games, one of them has a, a boycott from Japan itself about how they're sick of their DEI garbage. But for some reason, Ubisoft thinks that the Japanese market's got it all wrong. Those, those damn Asians don't understand their white privilege. We've got we've to force a fake black samurai down their throats and they have to deal with it. You know, issuing non-apologies to them, saying uh, you just have to accept that, you know, we're going to say this is historical and then backtrack and say it's not historical and then say deal with it. And now that the petition has so closing in on 100,000 signatures, granted it's not going to do anything because Ubisoft doesn't give a flying damn about fans it doesn't give a damn about the people that pay its pay buy its games it doesn't give a damn about its investors it's about sending the message what happens when people stop buying the games and the investors stop making money well ubisoft has to try and cover their tracks and make up excuses I and mean, we've already seen how low their stock has gone i've covered that in two videos now two videos of how poorly ubisoft stock is doing how much money people are losing by having Ubisoft stop. It's not too long before Ubisoft just has to say, oh, we can't be public anymore, and they just lose everything. But during their uh, their call with investors, they, uh, they got questioned on why they're doing so poorly. And Ubisoft's response was, we don't know what you're talking about, bro. So let's read the article to see how Ubisoft is coping with a, they're about to lose everything. So here we go. Ubisoft executive CEO Eves Gillema, of course it's a fucking woman, and CFO Frederick Duggett did their best to avoid questions from institutional investors regarding the company's potential sales for its upcoming Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows. And if you haven't seen the gameplay for Assassin's, or not Assassin's Creed, Star Wars Outlaws, it's god awful. It looks like something that would maybe be okay on a PS1, maybe a PS2. The the gameplay is is terrible at best. Like quite literally, there's nothing nothing enticing about the gameplay at all. Then look, I covered in a previous video. This is the the hideous hideous character they made based on a real person who's actually very fucking attractive. Okay, but this is this is what they gave us. I would be disgusted if I was the person they claimed that they modeled this after. This is absolutely disgusting. Anyway, back to how uh, Ubisoft is coping. During the company's quarter one fiscal year 2024 sales report, Ubisoft noted that it expects to have net bookings in its second quarter around 500 million euros when it releases in Star Wars Outlaws. For comparison, the company's net bookings for the first quarter clocked in at 290 million. Ooh, ooh, a little over half. Barclay Nick Dempsey questioned the low prediction in a QA session during the company's sales call. He asked, when I look into the guidance for quarter two, and I assume something familiar from the back catalog in quarter two as quarter one, kind of getting to 200, 230 million, that sort of range. For the new Star Wars Outlaws, when I look at the $70 price, then assume that you might get from it, I'm getting around 5 million units, something in that sort of bracket. First of all, where could I be going wrong with that thinking? Secondly, are you just being pretty conservative in your guidance? Because I guess given the interest in that game, we might have thought it would have been more than 5 million units. 5 million units worldwide. That is abysmal. I mean, 5 million out of what potentially could be 7 billion people. 5 million is nothing. Nothing. And I don't know if it'll actually do the 5 million because the only people that seem to want it are the shills that they're paying. So it's not like they're going to make a ton of money off of that. Not only would he question the sales figures for Star Wars Outlaws, he also questioned the potential for Assassin's Creed Shadows. When I look at the second half clearly, I think we're going to need a heavy contribution from Assassin's Creed. 
But could it be that those revenues would be, in fact, boosted by multiple hundreds of millions in partnerships deals? That kind of range could guess over the line. So they're trying to say in partnership deals, the franchise that nobody likes anymore, that people are making fun of, that people are memeing, memeing. Nobody's buying this game. But of course, Ubisoft has to, has to come back and say, we can't comment on the very numbers you are quoting. But we, what we have factored in is a strong launch for Star Wars Outlaws that reflects the fact that it is among the most weighted games of the industry this year. And really strong, positive community sentiment. It's got strong community sentiment because you deleted everybody who was opposed to it. You blocked them so that they can't comment on it. As soon as you get out of your... your perfected sphere of influence you know the the one where you you can't hear anything other than positive stuff all you hear is this is trash it's trash but no you have to you have to be like no look at our comment section ignore the the band people the ignore that there's you know 10 times as many of them just completely ignore that only listen to us God, I, you know, I'm going to do it again. Ubisoft, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Down 75% over the last five years. 75%. How are you, how are you possibly thinking that this is going to make you money at all? You're, you're spending more money to produce these games because you have to hire all the DEI bullshit that you're being blackmailed into, and you're too much of a bunch of fucking cowards to say, no, we're not doing that, fuck off. There's a reason Nintendo can't hire enough people. Nintendo Japan, but let me clarify that before somebody gets in the comments section. Nintendo Japan can't hire enough people to get their games out that everybody's buying, that they're making bank on. Because they don't pander to these absolute disgusting weirdos. But you have to pander them so you get extorted because you're too scared to say no fuck off. When Chinese spyware has got more hype than you because they told the DEI crowd to kick rocks, they don't care. They will not be extorted. Has more hype than a Star Wars game. More hype than a Star Wars game because Disney has killed it with the DEI garbage, and you're sitting here trying to do the exact same thing. The last couple shows that Disney has made about Star Wars have been mocked and memed into oblivion with some of the worst ratings in history. 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. And you're like, no, they, 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 they totally want the DEI nonsense. They totally want diversity and inclusivity. What the hell are you going on about? But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this one out. And until the next one, guys, be easy, like sleazy.